That uh, thank you. A warning tonight from a Riverside family dealing with a tragic triple murder. They say beware of internet catfishing. That's when someone pretends to be someone else. Well, police say the killer posed as a teenage boy online and drove across the country to meet a 15-year-old girl he had tricked and lied to. KCALMA's Rick Mountain is live tonight in North Hollywood with more on how the crime now is raising new concerns about catfishing. Rick? Susie and Jeff, that is the very reason the Winnick family from Riverside spoke with reporters today. They want us to share this warning. And after talking with several teenagers about that tonight, it seems that some of them are taking this catfishing scheme seriously and they are paying attention to their online safety. A heartbreaking triple murder in Riverside. The result, investigators say, of a Virginia deputy sheriff catfishing a 15 year old girl. Riverside police say 28 year old Austin Edwards tricked her into thinking he was 17. He figured out where she lived, traveled cross country, and killed her grandparents, Mark and Sherry Winnick, and her mom, Brooke Winnick. Catfishing led to the deaths of the three most important people in my life my dad, my mom, and my sister. Please, parents. Guardians, when you are talking to your children about the dangers of their online actions, please use us as a reference. A desperate plea from a grieving family hoping to protect other teenagers and their families from online predators. It kind of makes me like second guess if I should go to my socials and double check who I'm following or who follows me. Grace Tafoya says when she's online, she's careful. I kind of avoid that. I have severe fear about this, so I just don't really answer to strangers in general. Police are affirming their stance that the Riverside teenager is a victim. You don't know who you're talking to online. You don't know if they're telling the truth or not, and it's kind of easy to like to see people online. Some parents of younger kids tell us they haven't had that serious of a talk yet. But the warnings now coming after these horrific murders are a safety wake up call to Foya says she will be sure to share with her teenage friends. If I can get the word out to anyone that I know, we'll be it. So I will do it. Nobody could imagine this crime happening to my family, to our family. And that difficult message from the Winnick family, they are also asking for parents to share this story. They say not out of fear, but out of tragic reality, because the worst did happen to their family. Reporting live tonight, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. Teachers right now preparing to strike tomorrow.